Uh, I grew up here in Utenek. We are in Ward 47. We have a challenge, a huge challenge of having too much taverns. So there was no focus to the people to actually change. So they basically spend their time on alcohol. I used to party a lot with the gangsters. You know, sometimes when you grow up in a situation whereby you don't have any support system, you tend to think negative. But, you know, whilst I was part of those negative things, I, I, I had a very strong mother who was trying to show me a right direction. That turning point came to me when I was sick in 2014, 2014. And I went around to check why the people of this town were also dying quite often. I uh, went around to the community and it happened that you know most of the people here were defaulting in their treatment. Part of the findings, uh, the health facilities are far away from us. Now for us to go to the clinics, it takes us a great distance to, to walk to reach those clinics. So that was when I said, no, let me do something and help the people in terms of adhering in their treatment. That was when my mother, she, she, she said, no, Mopele, listen, my child, take this house and, and, and run this program that you want to run. You know, one of the, the, the ladies asked me, well, are we going to pay your rent? I said, no, we're not going to pay your rent. And then she asked me whether, are we going to charge the people? I said, no, we can't charge the people because the people of this community, they don't afford, they don't have money. So then that was when we started to register this project as, an, as a non-profit making organization. So each and every time when I'm sleeping, each and every time when I'm waking up, I make sure that, you know, I'm pushing this thing. I want this thing to be a success. But it's not easy because to run a clinic or to run this program without any resources, it is not easy. A large number of people have been able to come and test themselves and have been able to give counseling to people and I've been able to to I mean to, to change the mindset of the people of this community. You know, even these support groups that we have, they play a very huge role you know, in, in, in making sure that the people, they understand what needs to be done to them. I think the people of this area, they do have the power of, of, of changing themselves, becoming better people, because at least there are those people that are literate, those educated people, but even then, there are no resources available, so it demotivates them. That is why I then decided to start this initiative to bring up more programs because apart from the clinic, I'm also running like an agricultural program. When I was at school, I wanted to become a doctor, uh, but um, because of the financial constraints, I could not be able to go into that field. So. I, I think uh, I'm, I'm one of the family members who are always trying to leave a, a legacy, not only for my family, for the community, for the entire community. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite very happy about what I'm doing. Before we start to work, we pray. I think that's, that's where we get the post, we pray. Before we go out, we pray. So our post comes from, from, from a prayer. I believe that praying is number one. It's all about how we believe, it's all about who you are, you know, it's all about what you want to do, you know, you have, you have to believe in yourself. Mm -hmm.